In this morning's Health Watch, birth control pills and blood clots. The hormones and oral contraceptives are what make them work, but over the years, side effects have become a big concern. Now, as Dr. Jennifer Ashton reports, one particular type of the pill may be linked to some new problems, problems that can be deadly. This is Michelle's ribbon wall. She showed horses for about 10 years. Like any good mother, Joan Cummins though. loves to talk about her daughter, Michelle. This is Velvet, Michelle's horse. Last August, Michelle left her New Jersey home for college in North Carolina. My baby, I kind of thought, oh, you know, it'll be all right, you know. Would go to her room and it would be empty and I thought, well, I'm gonna see her again, you know. And she never came home. Just one month into Michelle's freshman year, Joan got a call that changed her life forever. They called me from the hospital and told me that, um, her heart was not responding and that um, it wasn't good. And that just, you know, never want to hear that. Michelle was walking to class when she collapsed in cardiac arrest. She died shortly after from a massive blood clot in her lung, something her mother thinks was caused by the birth control pill, Yaz. She's now suing Bayer for wrongful death. I'm saying it could have contributed to her death. You know, a healthy, young, 18-year-old woman, you know, who's never, who never had anything wrong to be taken like that. Certainly something that could have contributed. Just this week, the FDA announced it's taking a look at newer birth control pills like Yaz and others that contain a different form of the hormone progestin. There's always been concern that the new generation birth control, like Yaz, Yasmin, be Yaz, maybe increases the risk of developing a blood clot slightly over the old generation. Regardless of what the FDA finds, for Joan Cummins, the loss of her daughter is enough to want to warn others. Instead of her coming home, you know, and, you know, being part of life here again, you know, she came home and I had to bury her. And it's just, it's horrible. I don't ever want to have, you know, anybody I know go through this. Bear says the overall scientific evidence supports its current assessment that its birth control pills are just as safe as any others on the market. The company also says it is working closely with the FDA on this matter. Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with us in the studio now with more on the side effects of the pill. I mean, just a heartbreaking story to hear anyone have to go through it. How strong is this latest research in terms of a connection between blood clots and the pill? Well, Erica, what the FDA is investigating is a possible link between a class of birth control pills containing a specific type of hormone known as DRSP after several studies showed there to be a two to three time increased risk of clotting events amongst women taking these kind of pills. Now, to put those numbers into context, for all women taking all kinds of birth control pills, eight women out of 10,000 will have a clotting event. If this increased risk with DRSP is two times greater, we're talking about 16 women out of 10,000. Now, I spoke to the vice president and the medical director of the Women's Health Division at Bayer, and he told me that the studies do not show their pills to be more dangerous than other pills. Mm -hmm. Most experts are saying that an increased risk of a rare event is still a rare event. Okay, so then put it into context, further context if you could. What is the, what is the chance of someone having a blood clot in general? Well, this is a known side effect of all birth control pills, and it is on the package labeling for all birth control pills. And in fact, women who are in any kind of high hormonal state can have a, cl can have a clotting event. So about 300,000 women in this country every year will have a clot for a variety of reasons. The risk is actually much greater for a woman who's pregnant of having a blood clot hmm. than for any woman taking any type of birth control pill. Okay, if you are worried though about the pill that you're currently taking or that someone you care about is taking, right. what is the specific ingredient that the FDA is looking at? Which pills is it in? Exactly. Well, we're talking talking about any hormonal formulation that contains a hormone known as DRSP. So we're talking about pills that have the names Yaz, Yasmin, Biaz, Gianvi, or Ocella. If women are on those pills, they should talk to their doctor. Mm -hmm. If they're concerned about options and alternatives, there are other pills on the market that may have lower doses, that may have different types of progestin, and they can easily be switched to one of those Is there pills. anybody in general who should not be taking this as a form of birth control or to help with acne? Because a, a lot of young women take this for acne. Not That's, necessarily birth control. And it's such an important point, Erica, because as we talk about here all the time, for any medication, there's risks versus benefits. A lot of women take the pill 
for reasons other than contraception. In general, there can be side effects, and women who are over the age of 35 who smoke should not take any pill, who have a family history of a clotting disorder should not take the pill, or who have migraines should not take the pill. All right, Jen, thanks. You bet.